don't mind the sound of rain. It is pouring like crazy right now. And I'm in the parking lot of work. I got here a little early. I just wanted to talk about a sound erratic because I I feel indifferent and I don't want to see him go given the production that he can give you. I understand the age factor. I understand the money factor and everything like that. But if you can't get anything uh, like worthwhile from him, you might as well just keep him, let him walk and don't risk getting shafted in the in the free agency shafted in what you're given for him you know because i i i think everyone can agree that he is a tremendous talent great person on and off the field somebody that you could really look up to and learn from and you've heard people talk about that the guys that we're bringing in the people that we still have here talk about that in this locker room and i don't think we'd want to lose out on giving some of these guys like bryce huff like Josh Sweat, more time to grow and learn from a guy who's not at all out of his prime, who's up there in age, yes, but he's not out of his prime. He's still in this sweet spot where he could still produce a lot for you and be that leader in the locker room now that you don't have Fletcher Cox, that you can only truly really rely on Brandon Graham uh, on that front four, you know? I don't think that that's worth letting go right now, personally. Uh, if they find something or if the Falcons or Cardinals want to trade something over that is worthwhile to us, whether that is a second round draft pick or better or something like that, or a player that can actually benefit us from a play from a, you know, a playmaker's uh, position, I'm all for it. But if not, there's no reason to take the risk. That's what I've got to say. And the, the, the reports now that the Falcons are really getting in there uh, trying to uh, talk with the Eagles about getting him. I, I don't know. It's And, of course, the Cowboys are also there. Apparently, they're interested in signing him uh, if he were to walk or get cut or something. I, I don't I don't know. It's, um, it's an interesting situation that I really do feel for Hassan Reddick. I'm, I'm not happy that he's being put into this because he's only been home for two years, and he's done a lot for us in those two years from a production standpoint on-field play, pro bowl appearances, you name it. He's been there. He's been the guy. He's been doing what he has to do. Last year was an off year, not just for him, but the entire defense and the whole team as a whole, uh, especially in that last month and a half of football. So let me know what your thoughts are, and I will definitely try to keep in touch with other things that are happening. We just signed some third stringer, like Will Groyer or whatever the heck his name is. I don't know who he is, but we signed him. He's in the quarterback room now, so great. Uh, well, that's like really all I got for right now. So let me know your thoughts and uh, I'll catch you guys around. Fly goes fly. Stay safe in this weather if you're over here in the Philly Camden area. And yeah, see you guys later.